Okay, today we're going to cook up some yummy breakfast. We're up here hanging out at Maple Grove Hot Springs in Idaho. We're having a blast. We came in last night, pitched a tent, done some camping and stuff. But first what I'm going to do is we're going to do some campfire bacon. So I have my 12-inch Dutch oven hanging over the fire here. It's been hanging over there for about 10 minutes. We'll get that all preheated. Oh, I love that sound. See how yummy that sounds? Let me just spread this out. I just get some good coals under there and just this cooks up nice. Just kind of, you don't want like a direct flame right under if you can help it, but it's okay. So we'll let that do its thing. And then I have my 10 inch Dutch oven here and we're gonna make uh, uh, everything in the cooler uh, breakfast casserole today. So I have some, uh, I've had this preheat for about 10 minutes. So let's just take the lid off. And I have some coconut oil here. Put some coconut oil in the bottom. Probably do like two tablespoons or so. Maybe three. Just You can just kind of judge it. That'll melt around. I'm going to cook this at 375 so I have eight briquettes under the bottom already. It's running to that one side so let me see if I can even this up a little bit there we go yeah that's melting up nice in there and then what I have here is we uh, cut up one sweet potato and two regular potatoes and then some uh, yummy purple onions so we'll just put this in here look at that bacon's over there sizzling away yeah hot springs we're gonna go soak in the hot springs here in a little bit after we have some yummy breakfast but what I'm gonna do is I'll just cover it back up and at uh, 375 in the 10 inch Dutch oven I have eight under the bottom and we want 14 on top four seven So what I'm going to do is we're just going to let this do its thing for about 30 minutes and we'll check it at that point and go to the next step. So we'll see you back. Okay, let's uh, check this out and give this a stir and then we're going to add a little seasoning. So the bacon over there is doing good. We're just kind of cooking it slow. Oh yeah, look at that. Come along nice. Kind of stir these up a little bit. See how, yeah, they're going, doing good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little pepper on here and we're gonna let these cook, I think, for another 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go to the next step and add some more, more stuff to this, everything in the cooler breakfast casserole. That's salt and this is called Cajun Cowboy, all-purpose seasoning. So we're, we're doing good today. Look at that, that is awesome. I'm just gonna leave the heat the same, it's doing great. Put the lid back on, we'll let that go for 15 minutes, but let's kind of show you what we're doing today. So just kind of come around here. <clears throat> it's kind of hard for Jenny to walk a little bit without tripping, but let's just go over here. So this is the Bear River here. And this is the, the hot springs are down here. It's kind of hard to see. But when we get down there later today, we'll take some still pictures and show you. There's a couple yurts over there, but there's three round hot pools right down there. And then a bigger one over on this side. So it's awesome. The main source of the hot springs is right up there. But like I said, we'll take some still shots so you can see it. And we'll be back uh, shortly.
right, let's go to the next step. So let's, uh, can see the steam coming out of this steam hole. It, it smell the sweet potatoes. I get a whiff of them every once in a while, sitting over there in my chair. But yeah, oh, that's awesome. But look at that. They're cooking up nice. Oh, that smells good. But what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna crack some eggs over here. Kind of set it right there and I'll get it in the garbage when I'm... Oh, that one right, right next to that other one. Better go over here. I'm thinking I'm going to do four eggs. Sounds good to me. Awesome. So what I want to do is I'm going to break these yolks a little bit. Like that. And then put a little pepper on the egg and a little salt and then we'll cover it back up this will take about 10 maybe 15 minutes but what I'm gonna do is I have three extra baquettes here I'm just gonna put right on the top that'll give it a little bit more heat from the top to cook those eggs up nice and firm so we'll let this do its thing for a little while and we'll we'll be back to serve it up Okay, we found some cheese. I was going through the cooler and there was some cheese, so we decided we'd throw that on too. But let's take a look. Oh, that looks sweet. Those eggs look awesome. Let's see how they're doing. Yeah, they're firming up nice. So I think this will be perfect. But I had some, found some Colby Jack cheese. I'm just gonna lay this in here. Look at that color, that is sweet. There are some hot dogs in the cooler too, but we almost decided to throw some in, but I think we'll just leave it with uh, this cheese as the last item. But look at that. As soon as the cheese is melted, we'll be good to go. So, sweet. It's done. Okay, we should be good. Let's see how this looks. Little lifter on there. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. So I have the campfire bacon there, but let's scoop some of this out. Oh, look at that. It just comes right out in one big piece. Sweet. Those eggs firmed up nice. They just kind of soak down in the potatoes and cook up nice. But let's have a taste of this. Probably hot. There's a sweet potato. But I love. Mixing the sweet potatoes and or having the sweet potatoes gives the sweet flavor. Mmm, yummy. Little purple onion. What is bacon? Mm. That is awesome. But yeah, there's everything in the cooler. Breakfast casserole. All the items used in this video can be purchased in the description below. If you liked what you see, subscribe to our YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.